a good stepping stone, a very strong platform for our children to develop the earliest foundation for mathematical learning. Sensory Mathematics Isn't mathematics just mathematics? Why sensory mathematics? Well, let me just introduce you to a term that's used in this program, Key to Learning, called sensory standards. The three basic knowledge points that we are introducing to children from the ages of something like two and a half to up to four or even five. So these three sensory standards that are named and brought and unpacked through this program are colour, shape, and size. These are actually forming the bedrock of all mathematical relationships that we teach our children when they're young. Question is, do we just teach them to identify objects by their names? That this is red and this is green and that is yellow? Wouldn't it be even better if we could help train our children's minds and also the language then to follow that when they observe the properties of an object, it doesn't just go beyond naming what they see, but really making comparisons and inferences. So if a young child were to be able to say to us, Mommy, this is not red. Or teacher, this is not green. But it is yellow. And the yellow balloon is bigger than the pink balloon. Doesn't that give us so much more detail and insight to what the children are thinking about? The question is, what other mathematical concepts do they learn? They don't even talk about addition and subtraction. Sometimes this throws us into a bit of a state of disequilibrium. That's not mathematics. Colour, shape and size. But at the heart of it, relationships are what guides mathematical understanding. When children are able to internalise mathematical concepts, only then are they able to apply it. And if the children have those muscles flexed well through the sensory mathematics programme, then are they more able to enter what we call the world of symbolic representation, where the value of one is written in so many forms, not just in the form of one object, but written in a symbolic figure or digit, as we know, the number 